Hello everyone, this is Aish. Welcome back to my channel. In my previous video, I have described about what is leverage browser catching and how to fix it. You can add head attack for the resources hosted on your main server. But what to do if you are getting error message for resources that are not hosted on your server, that is third party resources. A resource which are not hosted on your server, but on some other third party server. For example, you might have Google Analytics code in your website, Facebook Pixel, Google Phone, Hotjar, and so on. You might get error message on GT metrics, leverage browser catching, and if you see the URL and all our external resources like Hotjar, Zoho, Google Analytics, Google Tag Manager, Facebook. Similar to that, in Google Page Speed Insight tool, you may see reduce the impact of third party code in that you, under you could see how these third party resources are putting down your websites. The same thing for reduce DNS lookup error message in Google PageSpeed Insight tool. These all errors most commonly represent third party resources. So today in this video, we are going to discuss about how to load third party resources to improve page speed of the website. First of all, list out all the third party resources which are making, which are listed under the error messages and analyze analyze everything and ask yourself if it whether exactly needs for your website it adds value for your website it helps to bring the customer into your website it provides useful information for your website think about all the possible advantages of using the resource if you find there is no advantage on using this resource then definitely without no other thinking remove it because what are the external resources you are adding on your website it definitely play a major impact on page speed so without no other thinking please remove it yes if you need no i cannot i cannot miss this resources i want it I want to, this really helps in my marketing strategy means yes, you can go with that, but you have, you have to really th optimize the third party resources by the following techniques. You can load the third party resources using a send card defer attribute, and you can establish early connection to tell the browser to load it early and you can use lazy loading and you can even opt for third party CDN. And if the third party external resources are causing major slowing down your website, then you can self host the script in your main server. If you use the third party script as a critical resource, then use ascent card defer attribute to load the script asynchronously. You can use either async or defer attribute both asynchronously loads the script while the browser is passing the HTML. The difference is using async, it asynchronously fetch the script while the browser is passing the HTML and once the fetching is finished, it block the passing of HTML and execute the script and then it resume the passing. In using defer, the execution will be done only when the passing is finished. So depending upon your need and you can check the water flow model and you can decide what, when, where to use async and defer attribute. The next thing is you can establish early connection using pre-connect and DNS prefetch. Using pre-connect, you can give a hint to the browser that your page intends to establish a connect to another origin and that you would like the process to start as soon as possible. 
so you can use rel equal to pre-connect to critical resources but don't load up all the resources using rel equal to pre-connect because the connection is usually made within 10 seconds as the browser closes it you waste all of that yearly connection work so use rel pre-connect only for most critical resources for the rest of the external resources you can use dns prefetch so it hint the browser to prefetch the dns lookups so use dns prefetch for rest of the resources that are that is less critical resources dns prefetch also serves as fallback for browser that don't support pre-connect the next thing is lazy loading images and iframes in my previous videos I have discussed a lot about lazy loading images and iframes. So please look at that video. Third party CDN hosting. It means the third party resources you are looking for. It provide they provides you a URL of the resource from their nearest CDN. This facility is available in Cloudflare CDN, Fastly, Key CDN. The last thing is self-hosting third-party resources. If the third-party resources, if you are looking for, is hosted in your main server itself, then it drastically cut down the lookup time from the external server. So if you are using the resources like Google Analytics, Google Fonts, then hosting them locally on your server definitely helps to improve the website performance. But the only disadvantage is if they made any changes on the changes or updates you won't get the updates because you are using the resources from your main server where the update is made from their third party main server so this is the only disadvantage in using local hosting the resources but there are so many plugins for local hosting all the third party resources Using webpagetest.org, you can measure how the third-party resources are impacting your page speed. I hope you would learn new things from this video. If you find it useful, please share. Please consider subscribe to my channel and follow me on Facebook, LinkedIn and Twitter. See you on another useful video. Until then, this is Ish.